Welcome to this guided meditation titled Awareness is What You Are. Find a comfortable seat, sitting with your spine straight and neutral, and ensure that your shoulders are relaxed. Let your palms rest in your lap or on your thighs and gently begin to close your eyes. As you position yourself comfortably, allow yourself to relax deeply. Notice your experience exactly as it is right now, without trying to change anything. As you connect with the present moment exactly as it is, you will notice that there are sounds happening, feelings in the body, thoughts flickering through your mind. Just be with this moment. Now notice your breath and place your focus on the natural, effortless activity of breathing. As you continue to breathe, inhaling and exhaling, allowing yourself to relax as deeply as possible. Whenever you may see that the mind has wandered, just return gently to the flow of your breath. Notice how thoughts come and go, but you remain. Notice how sounds arise and then disappear, but you remain. Notice how feelings and emotions happen in the body and then fade away, but you always remain. You are the awareness which notices. You are always here aware of any experience. We are now going to inquire and experience this essence of awareness together. Not through force or needing to arrive at some destination on the journey, because awareness is always here and now. For a few moments, do not think about the past or imagine anything about the future. Be present to this moment and I'm going to provide a few pointers for you to silently answer to yourself and recognize the essence of your true nature. Whatever notices all experiences, all sounds, all sensations and perceptions, does it have any form at all? Can someone take a photograph of awareness?
Is there a boundary or a defined border where it stops existing? Is it an emotion or is it aware of all emotions that arise? Can it fade or disappear? See for yourself that you are always here. Are there any judgments in it? Does awareness have some quality of time in it? Past, present, future? Or is it always only here and now? Can it be owned by some group of people and not by others? Can you say that it has a distinct beginning or end? awareness itself become sick, anxious or afraid? See for yourself that the mind, that is to say, thoughts and mental activity, arise and appear in awareness. Can awareness itself be personal? Awareness is your true nature. It is not something you find or acquire. It is the essence of what you are. It is effortless and it is what you have always been. How far is awareness from you right now? Is there any distance you must travel to be aware? Recognize and rest 
as your true nature of awareness. See that nothing obtained can make you more than what you are right now. And nothing that can be lost can make you less than what you are right now. This natural sense of spaciousness is the awareness of your being. The mind will get busy and thoughts will be offered to you, all sorts of ideas and even stories. But you do not have to get lost in the drama. You, awareness, simply notices the thoughts, allows them to come and then to go, like clouds passing by in the sky. Each time returning to the silent stillness within you as your most sacred resting space. Whenever the external appearance and activities of life may seem to be overwhelming, know that you can always come back to this space, come back to yourself. of this meditation, gently notice the flow of your breath once again. As you take a few more conscious breaths, whenever you feel ready, you can then begin to open your eyes.